Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Hayes, former UCLA women's basketball player, class of 2018, and I'm here to walk you guys through my experiences of being a former student athlete, professional athlete, and life now. So in college, I have very fond memories. A uh, lot of friends, a lot of great basketball, but also not always the best basketball in school. But we made it through. I graduated with a major in gender studies um, and also finished with one WNIT championship, two Sweet 16s, and an Elite Eight. So I guess you can say I had a pretty good college experience um but also there were some lows trying to figure out what i wanted to do life laugh in life after um kind of what were my interests uh who was i my identity those were things i really contemplated and had to work through um in college and conversations that was hard for me to have out loud um and one thing i would just advise all athletes or student athletes or just people in general um just talk to other people um don't always feel like you need to be 100 percent in your plans because plans change um like i said i um graduated and from graduating i thought i was done with basketball forever for good so i went to the workforce um after working for a while i realized i don't really want to do this anymore and so fortunately, um, I had the opportunity to represent the Philippines um, on a national scale. So I played on the women's national team for the Philippines. Uh, we competed in the 2019 FIBA games to qualify for the Olympics. However, we did not qualify, but in um, December of 2019, uh, we had a tournament called Sea Games, where it's called Southeast Asian Games, where we competed against other Southeast Asian countries like Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and we won the first ever gold medal for the Philippines. And when I tell you that was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had, um, I mean it. You know, I, of course, like I said, had those experiences at UCLA, those accolades, representing a university. But being able to represent a country, the Philippines, my people, the whole country rallied up behind us, supporting us, pushing us, wanting us to succeed, winning the gold medal in the Philippines for the first time ever in women's basketball, an experience I will never forget. And also experience I wanted to leave there. So after winning a gold medal, I kind of retired and said that was it. I came out of retirement and I went back into retirement. I ended on a high note um, and I'm excited with that. But one thing with my experiences, like I told you guys earlier, is don't think that you have everything figured out. Don't always have your eyes set on just one thing. Of course, it's good to focus and have, you know, a vision of what you want things to look like. But don't be afraid for your path to kind of veer off to the left and to veer off to the right. Oh, it's mirrored opposite. But you guys get what I mean, you know? Don't be afraid if plans change because sometimes plans change for the better. And really just monitor and, you know, be open-minded to what possibilities are. Because I was so close-minded on what I wanted and what I didn't want. And I'm happy that I finally had that switch in my mind. Knowing that, you know, maybe I should give this basketball thing a try again. Maybe I should, you know, try and start a business. Maybe I should, you know, try to go to grad school. And those are all things that I've done. I started a business um, in January of 2019 with a fellow former Bruin. We started a business called It's a Cookie. It's a cookie business where people can kind of create and concoct their own cookies and we bake them fresh homemade. And it's been an awesome experience running a business. And on top of that, I was like, you know what? I want to go to grad school. So I applied to grad school. I got in. Um, I'm, I'm not telling you guys all this to brag. I'm telling you guys this because plans change. I thought I was going to be here when I graduated. But in reality, I'm here. And there, it's nothing bad and... It's an experience that I hope all of you guys can, you know, share with one another. Everyone's experiences are going to be different, but I want you guys to know that paths change. We have our vision, we have, you know, what we want, but I want you guys to stay true to who you guys are and being able to know that um, you can really manipulate your life in the sense of creating it as to what you want it to be. And of course, it's gonna have its hardships. It's not going to be easy, but use your resources, um, take risks. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be challenging. Things are gonna happen that you can't control, but that's life. 
Um, and once you ad- acknowledge those things, once you realize that I'm not the only one that's going to have to have, you know, setbacks and adversity, that that actually pushes you forward. You're like, you know what? I can fail and I can get back up because at the end of the day, the light is always going to be there at the end of the tunnel. And when you re- when you're moving towards it and reaching it and fighting for it, you're going to be like, dang, okay, this is going to be worth it. This is going to be worth it because I'm moving towards what I want. And that's what I'm doing for myself. I wanted to play basketball again so I started I worked at it we won a gold medal I realized you know dang I really you know enjoy baking I love making people happy boom I started a business Mm, I decided I wanted to um, grow and expand my education um, and really being able to work with more people and kind of get more experience under my belt so I applied to grad school None of these things are easy. They are very hard and I struggle sometimes, but I'm not afraid to ask for help. And I know that I'm not alone. And I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that you guys are very young and you guys have time, but just know that there are a lot of things out there for you guys and that athletics, it was just a stepping stone for me um, in becoming the person that I am today. And I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. I'm in my car, yes, because I'm going to the grocery store. I have my mask, but everyone be safe. Um, and good luck. Bye.